Cheerio McLaren and Formula One fans. So today we're going to take a look at these three Kyosho McLarens. I believe uh, these this series came out back in uh, 2008, so they're pretty old models. Uh, I find the history of Formula One somewhat in interesting as the cars change in their shape to continually keep them uh, competitive with each other and slow them down, I think, nowadays. So we're going to start with this first car here, go in uh, order of their releases. So this is the McLaren MP411 which is uh, from the 1996 season. I guess uh, the different numbers are the different drivers. But number eight is driven by David Coulthard. And uh, he came in seventh for the season as a driver. And McLaren came in fourth as the manufacturer for the, the championship that year. Okay. Now these, uh, most all these are F1 cars are running three liter V10 engines. This one's making around 720 horsepower. And you'll notice uh, what's interesting about this one is this little wing here on the engine cover. It's not on the other ones. And the reason why is uh, this was an unbalanced car. I guess it had some issues with the balance. And so they added this wing here. And I think that's kind of one of the reasons why David Coulthard had a hard time driving this car and didn't come in. Uh, he didn't beat Renault. Renault was dominant in this uh, decade. And Ferrari was pretty good too. So uh, you'll notice this livery. This is uh, it's not written anywhere on this vehicle, but this is a Marlboro Marlboro cigarettes uh, sponsored car. They couldn't actually write the brands of the cigarettes on these cars, so this is just mimics the uh, packaging of a Marlboro 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 red pack. Okay, so let's look at the actual model now. So it's nice to see the Goodyear Eagle printing, very nicely done on the tires. Yeah, uh, you're gonna notice all these uh, cars seem to have these exposed axles, but at least they're black. Could have been worse if they were silver, but that's the one big detriment to these Kyosho F1 cars. I'm not sure why they wouldn't just have regular push-on wheels like all their other road-going cars. Strange, strange choice. Okay, so uh, let's see. We got the the number eight there. I'm not sure what this body panel cut is some sponsorship there there's the mercedes logo this engine was uh, a mercedes engine but it was built by ilmore and so this i don't think they're very reliable compared to the renault engines which were very very good okay so let's see what's going on in the back here nothing really weird no sponsorship on the rear wing on the back of the rear wing that is on the side sure what is this sponsor I don't know what, I can't read that with the naked eye. So it seems like this is a blanked off vent, I imagine. That might be a vent, should be black there. Uh, this the vent here goes in quite a bit, so that's nice. I believe these weird things on the top of F1 cars are television uh, cameras, TV cameras, so they can show the, the footage from the vehicle. Okay, so you can see this suspension here, which is nice. Actually, you're going to see an axle that shouldn't be there, but uh, there's no way around it, I think. The, the wheel would probably be really floppy if it didn't have a solid axle going through. I'm not sure what these are called, these little uh, vertical wings. They must probably clean up the air before it end, kicks away excess, and then uh, a little bit goes into the radiators. These wings kick up here as well over the, the, the tires. Okay. Let's see the bottom here. Not a great amount of detail, but yeah, we got at least know what uh, actual car this is, so that's good. And staggered width of the tires. It's racing slicks, so not bad. Uh, I've come used to these uh, Kyosho F1 cars. I think it's pretty good. Okay, well, let's let that spin there. And the next car is the MP12 presentation. Meaning this is the test car that McLaren used uh, because they lost sponsorship. That Marlboro from uh, the 1996, that was their last season that they got had that sponsorship. So they had to test the cars with the classic orange that uh, McLarens are known for. Uh, eventually though, they got sponsorship from uh, a different cigarette company called West. I've never seen or seen that brand in person but I'm assuming it's quite popular in Europe. Okay. So same thing, Ilmore was providing these Mercedes engines, but they had a lot of engine problems. 
This car also had a lot of controversy because uh, it had two rear brake pedals. So uh, it, it could actually steer a little bit by having different brake pedals for each, each uh, tire. So Ferrari made a fuss and it, that technology got banned. Okay, so in this year, they uh, came in fourth again as a manufacturer. And this, I don't know who drove it because it's a test car. It doesn't have the actual race livery. So, okay, let's see if what's going on here differently. There's no more vent there. So that's some evolution. This wing here is, yeah, it's, no, it's actually similar to the last car. But you have a different shape here to this vertical part of this wing. The tires, again, they're nice. Didn't notice before, but there actually are like some molded details to the spokes in that, that wheel. Hmm. Okay, well, this is interesting. Actually, there is a number nine here, so I think this is maybe tested by Mika Hakkinen. Okay, all right, uh, well, it's interesting graphics, I guess. You'll notice this model doesn't have the weird wing like thing because there's no TV camera up here like the last one has a, a, a vertical black TV camera going on up there so it's interesting that Kyosho you know, made that change in fact I actually have the regular sponsored uh, car here so here we are so it's basically the same car but this now actually has the West Cigarette sponsorship and you will see that this one also has the, the little fin there that holds the camera and the wheels are now silver as well okay so all the sponsorships there same driver so I think this is Mika Hakkinen if I recall correctly I might be wrong though okay so well interesting it's different just weird to see a plain a more plain looking uh, F1 car okay we'll let this uh, sit up here I guess next to this so the last car here, what we have is the MP4-20. And this is from the 2005 Formula 1 season. And uh, number 10 was driven by racer Juan Pablo Montoya, who came in fourth as uh, in the driving championship. And now McLaren moved up a little bit, so they came in second for the Manufacturers Championship that year. Some uh, changes are going to happen here for the, the team. They're, this will be the last car that has the Ilmore engines because, again, this thing had a lot of engine problems. And so the next year, they moved to just straight-up Mercedes-built engines. So, And then also, uh, this is the last year in 2005 where West Cigarettes they're going to drop their sponsorship after and the reason why is you'll notice is it doesn't actually say West anywhere on this vehicle because uh, they didn't want to have these things promoting tobacco use but apparently in this year you know you could actually have the brand written there West cigarettes or whatever so the only thing indicating that this is a West sponsored car is this little orange swoop I imagine and then the silver and black which I guess are on the packs of cigarettes. So West, you know, they're shelling out millions of dollars and it doesn't even say West on it, so they, it makes sense that they would drop their sponsorship. And then the year later, Emirates became the sponsor for this team. Okay, so some uh, interesting actual design elements that have changed. This wing was moved forward and that was, I think, to move the wake behind this more forward so if a car was like following behind closely it would kick up more of the air and create less turbulence for the the tailgating car I believe that's my understanding of why the wings are changing shape to be uh, more forward and kick up the wake but also I think narrower over evolution to have less downforce and actually try to slow the cars down you will notice all these other cars have flat flat forward wings but this one has like these raised raised sides you know it's going it's bowing up like a like a modern commercial jet okay and then these tires are ribbed I think again it was to try to maybe slow down the car by having less rubber touching the road okay so let's see here 
still have these things. I'm not sure what those are called again. It's got the little TV pod there. It's just black interior. Yeah, no printing on the interior of this one. Okay. And then you got these weird, like, horn like wings there. I believe they are used to try to keep as much downforce as possible. And uh, it also seems to be a more sculpted body contour. It's rounded, undercuts quite a bit. Whereas the other cars behind, uh, they're more vertical with the sidewalls. I'm going to put these on a tray of comparison. And uh, you can look at all of them. Uh, the wheels are different. No longer Goodyear's. We're talking Michelin's now. And then the spokes are also a different design. Okay, so that's cool. Interesting change. Okay, so let's see. That's like weird again. I don't know if Kyosha just got lazy, but almost all F1 cars have some sort of sponsorship there. Especially with TV, you know, a car's going to be falling behind. They're going to be broadcasting, so sponsors want to put their brand there. But uh, maybe Kyosha just thought it was too difficult to print on that surface. Nothing there though either. Hmm, interesting. Okay. I'm looking at all these cars through the camera screen here. So I'm sure there might actually be a lot of blemishes, but on my screen I can't tell. Also the wing here is wider up front and then it tapers inwards. So that's interesting as well. Huh, okay. Alright, so I guess that's it. There's not too much to talk about. Other than then, uh, this being a 2005 car, in 2006 they switched to V8 engines, 2.4 liter V8s. Whereas all these cars prior to that year are running 3 liter V10s. So again, they're trying to slow down the cars as technology improves. You can have a more powerful engine with less displacement. So they're trying to slow these things down. Okay, so let's see here if I get my tray here. This is the first car here, that car there, these are actually identical cars, this is the MP15, so chronologically, well in fact I'll just remove this one because it's the same, and I think I should angle the camera down. All right, so chronologically, the left is the oldest car and then the right is the newest car. So 1996, uh, 1997, the year 2000, and then 2005. So, I was mentioning earlier the verticality of this wall here, vertical, vertical, but here it starts to curve underneath. You notice the wheel bases are changing constantly, really, it seems to, uh, affect or keep the cars competitive with each other and then uh, yeah this wing here is pushed in much further I suppose I'll take two well I'll do that after let's see about the front first okay so yeah these three older cars have similar front wings rectangular style but now this one is more like bird like and tapering inwards so that's interesting to see The height of the nose has also changed. The height of this nose is quite high. Then it's low, high, super low. So changes there. That rear wing from this side. So this older car, I think it has a wider wing. A little narrower, a little narrower. This does look wider again, but it's pushed forward. It's more over the tires where these are pretty much behind the tires or more so okay and then from the, a model standpoint these two cars have silver paint in the interiors like showing the seat belts and I think the steering wheel has a little silver paint as well but these two cars are just plain black plastic all around okay another thing slicks slicks treaded treaded so it's, it's pretty interesting, I think, to see uh, the changes here. The Kyosho collection of these McLaren cars, there's quite a few of them. I only have four of them, so maybe someday I'll uh, try to get all of them. But since they came out in 2008, they're kind of rare and hard to find, so it may never happen. 
so keep that in mind. I feel like I'm becoming like a museum curator buying all these old cars. Okay, anyways, it's 15 minutes, so I'm going to cut it there, and uh, I'll catch you guys around. See ya.